Hey guys, what is up? For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my cream blush video collection and declutter. I'm also going to be sharing with you guys what I love and what I also like and what I don't really like. Um, you'll see also what I declutter, like from what I declutter, <laughs> what I really don't like. You know what I'm saying? So I am going to be starting my annual declutter series. Here we go. If you guys love these kind of videos, definitely make sure to subscribe. I'll leave my playlist, my declutter playlist down below in the description box. Also, I will have some of these items posted on my Poshmark. If you guys want to purchase anything, that'll be linked down below as well. But yeah, I think from, from now, like moving forward, I'm going to post one a declutter video a week. So we're gonna do cream blushes, blushes, foundations, eyeshadow palettes, bronzers, the whole shebang. You do not wanna miss this. You know my style, no game thing, plate style. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so in total I have 39 cream blushes. First up I have the Tower 28 Cream Blush here in Magic Hour. This is my favorite cream blush ever. I just did my nails, so we're trying to figure out how to use these. Love this. I know it kind of looks like gross, but I'm almost finished with this one. It's my favorite cream blush ever. Formula is spot on and the color is stunning if you have a fair to light to even medium skin tone. I think this is amazing. A bunch of you guys said you purchased it based on my recommendation and you're obsessed. Absolute winner keeping that. I'm gonna finish it off hopefully. The next blush that I have here is from Rare Beauty. This is in Nearly Apricot. I really like like those apricot pinky tone type of shades. This is beautiful. It's very silky smooth. It almost dries down to a powder, I wanna say. Builds up amazingly and lasts beautifully on the skin. I really enjoy the formula of this. And you can't really go overboard, I feel like, you know? Amazing, I'm gonna keep that one. I might pick up a few other ones from the line because it's so good. Next, I have one of the Cheek Kiss blushes here from Milani. This is in Coral Kiss. Such a stunning color, especially for like the summertime. Great formula, easy to work with, lasts a pretty decent amount of time. I heard that those who have oily skin are obsessed with this and I have dry skin and I think it's 10 out of 10 keeping for sure it's one of my favorites you know, next i have this cream blush here this is the makeup by mario cream blush in pale petal i don't know i mean i spoke to you guys about this in my i'll keep you posted video and i did mention there that it really isn't anything special i personally don't think it's actually worth the money i think i purchased this for like 28 bucks i use it a handful of times um I, I just think it's decent, you know, I definitely feel like if you have oily skin you probably won't like this because it adds more of like a luminous finish, but it doesn't necessarily last like a really long time, so staying power is not good at all. I hate, I will say that, I hate the brush on this with this, it does not blend for nothing, even though it is soft and all, but I think this is a cool product, I like the concept, I like that it's, you know, a stick form, but I'm going to declutter it because I'm just, I don't find myself using it really and... I have other cream blushes that I prefer more than this one, so I'm gonna declutter. Next up, I have this Honest Beauty blush here. This is in the shade Rose Pink. Beautiful, beautiful cream blush that I really adore. These cream blushes get really, really dirty, and then I feel like the bristles of brushes are like stuck in there, which is gross. But I love this color. I feel like it's a little bit more of a thicker formula to work with, but it still blends out really beautifully. It lasts a pretty long time on the skin, and I think it's a good one, so I love that. I'm gonna keep it. Next, I have these two blushes here by MAC. These are the Glow Play blushes so i have this one i love the packaging it's really beautiful this is in rosy does it so i do like the like mushy like concept of this i want to just squish my finger in there like the nail like yeah because it's like yum but um, i think the formula is nice definitely much more like lighter in tone not as buildable as i would like and i would say it leaves more of like a powder-ish finish on the skin it's decent i'm not fully obsessed um, I'll tell you honestly though, this specific color, I do not like these shades on me at all. It looks really, really off. So I'm gonna declutter it mainly because of the color. The formula is nice, so it's like, okay, but this color is gonna be a no for me. So I'm gonna declutter that. And then I have this color right here in the shade Cheer Up. I just kind of want to see. This is like a really, really light peachy tone shade. Um, It's really close to my skin tone. I don't feel like it really does much, honestly, and it's very, very nude for me. Usually with blushes, I like either more of like an apricot vibe or more of like a peachy tone vibe or more like a blue tone pinky color. So, I mean, it looks very, very fluorescent on, so well, swatched at least. So I think I'm going to declutter this as well. If I find other shades that I like, um, I'll probably purchase them, but these two are just not like my preferred type of colors, so declutter. Next up, I have this blush here from Melt Cosmetics. This is in the shade Honey Thief. Beautiful cream blush i'm like showing you guys all my favorites but yeah this is a really really good one i would say it's probably on the same like level as the tower 28 blush 
I mean, I feel like I'm repeating myself at, at this point, but like it's very creamy, it's buildable, it does last on the skin, it looks very fresh, and it lasts a pretty long time. Plus, this color is per. Perfection. I love it. It's not too orangey. It's not too pinky. It's like a perfect everyday kind of shade And I feel like it builds up really well with powder blushes as well Not all cream blushes work well with powders, but I feel like this does like with powder. It's perfect So and I love the packaging. It's like I love the, I love the magnet Keep next I have this cream blush here from Natasha Denona This is actually her serum blush and I believe the second to lightest shade She has a nude this and then more of like a deeper type of color so i think i'm going to declutter this in my um i'll keep you posted video i mentioned that it's really nothing special it kind of almost blends out to nothing and i mean it looks pretty on but it also doesn't even last like a significant amount of time compared to other cream blushes that i have so hopefully this will be able, will be able to enter a new home soon but i'm going to declutter this one i just feel like she maybe could have done better with the formula of this so i want to say goodbye even though i love it you know you guys know this but you know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna pick up a deeper shade, see if that one sticks better onto my skin, and then, well, but I'll declutter this now. Maybe we'll pick up another one, we'll see. But declutter. <laughs> Next, I have this LYS blush here in the shade Confident. Um, it's so funny, because I speak to my life coach, and like when we first started a few months ago, she likes to start off with um, a word that is close to your heart. She's like, what word do you think defines you or what's something that you want to work on? And my word was confidence. And I have a few friends who go to her as well and their words were different, but it's interesting that this is like confident and like, you know what I mean? And I thought it was cute. I think that's why I picked this up actually. So I actually haven't used this much. I misplaced it for a little bit and then I recently found it. So I really haven't given it much love really. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep it. I don't think, I don't know if the shade is gonna be a little bit too dark for my cheeks. I know when I swatched it, it was, it was fine but hopefully it's gonna work out well. So I'm gonna keep this for now. Next I have this right here from Natasha Denona. So in here we do get a cream blush and then a powder highlighter. I do really like this cream blush. I definitely think it's better than her serum blushes. It is light in tone, but it builds up so nicely and it gives you that like perfect flush, you know? Um, it does also last a pretty decent amount of time on the skin, which staying power is a big thing for me. Like even if it's light, fine, okay. And if it's not buildable, okay. But like it needs to last, you know what I'm saying? So. Um, I really really like this and then the highlighter is quite different compared to other highlighters I usually wear But I do like it as well plus the packaging and I really try not to get rid of tons of Natasha Nona goodies because My favorite brand well one of my favorite brands so I'm gonna keep this one next up I have these two tower 28 blushes cream blushes Love the concept love the packaging, but sadly these did not work out for me I don't know what it is. I feel like everyone raves about these and I'm like, okay, so I picked one up Terrible. I picked up another one. Terrible. I was like, why? What am I missing out on? You know, do I have to pick up even a deeper shade? I don't know. These these legit do not last on my skin at all. You, it blends out to absolutely nothing. Um, it's more like a serum blush, so it feels like water on the skin in a sense, which I like, but like, there's nothing to it really. So I'll have to, honestly, I might pick up even a deeper shade to see if it works out for me, but these two lighter nude shades, gotta go. Although I wish, but it's not going to work out, so declutter. Okay, next up I have these two blushes here from Milk Makeup. So I think that they have two formulas. I want to say this right here is the Luminous Formula. It's in the shade Perk. The Luminous Formula sucks, all right? Do not spend your money on this. Legit, barely any pigmentation. Doesn't last for nothing. And it's basi it basically just feels like an extra layer on your skin. Almost has like a very oily, not sticky feel, but a very like their feel yeah oily-ish kind of, you feel like there's something on your skin it feels terrible does nothing i don't really know what the point of this is so we're going to declutter this um i also have the matte formula which is much better it's in the shade work i do like this color it's like more mauvey toned like you can even see the previous shade there's nothing there it's just like a shininess but it feels like a thick layer of oil anyway this color here is much better i do like it but it also hmm, almost blends out to nothing. So I don't know, I'm not really feeling these. I'm gonna declutter both of the Milk Makeup Cream Blushes. I also have these from Pixi. These are so underrated, I feel like. They're so nice. The packaging is a little bit awkward, I will say, but such good quality cream blushes. I have this one in the shade Floor. You just kind of twist it up like a deodorant stick. So this is a really pretty, I don't even know where I could swatch this. The lighting is not doing it for us today. So this is a really pretty like pinky toned color. One second, let me close the shade. Really, really like this one. 
so I'm gonna keep it. Usually I like to use this with more of like a flimsier type of brush, you know, get some product on there and then apply it on the skin. You could use a stiffer brush too if you want. Blends out really easily and it's really pretty on the skin plus lasts. This shade right here is one that I would say is a little bit too orangey for me. It's in the color Juicy. It is quite unique though. Let's see. I really don't have a lot of shades like that, but I typically don't wear such colors. So I think I'm going to declutter this one. And push that in there. And then we have this shade right over here, which is Ruby, which is I think my favorite one from the three. I use this the most. It's like a beautiful reddish color, raspberry tone shade. And it blends out really, really nicely on the skin. Gives you like that perfect rosy flush. These have a little bit of like an... Mm, a very emollient feel, I guess I could say. I'm not going to use the word oily, but you can feel a sense of hydration with these. But they don't feel heavy on the skin. Really nice. I love them. So I'm going to keep two and I'm going to get rid of the orange one. So these two I'm going to keep. Um, this one right here I'm going to declutter. Next I have this blush here from Kaja. Or Kaja. Um, this is in the shade Feisty. I really like this. It's really cute. I don't really use the sponge part. It doesn't really do much. I think it's just for the cutesiness. But I do really enjoy the blush that's included in here. I'll usually just take a regular brush, smush that in there, and then apply it on my face. This is like a very gorgeous satin blush on the skin. Lasts amazingly. Probably one of the best formulas I've tried. Really good. I also have this blush here by Freck. This is the Cheeks Slime Blush in Cuffed. I don't love the packaging. I feel like it could be very wasteful really quick. But it's a really gorgeous cream blush. Um, love this color. It's like a peachy toned... Yeah, peachy toned, pinky type of shade. Really pretty, great formula too. Looks one with the skin, so I'm going to keep that. I also have these two monochromatic blushes here from e.l.f. So I am going to keep this one, this peachy tone shade in guava, but I'm going to declutter this one in rose, uh, sparkling rose. So like I mentioned before, I don't really like these kind of colors. I did want to try it out to see like what the vibe was, but I don't really like it on my skin. Great formula though. These are amazing by e.l.f. If you've never tried these, I think it's stunning on the skin. They have little specks of glitter inside in, in the blush. So you could kind of see that a little bit on the skin, but it's not gritty and it's not too much. I feel like it just adds a little bit of sparkle and it looks great on the skin. These have more of like a satin, slightly luminous finish, I would say. So I'm going to keep this one, but I'm going to declutter this. Here, I also have this blush here from Milani. This is one of their Cheeky Kiss blushes in Rose Romance. This is really nice on the skin. It feels very jelly-ish very just comfortable you know slightly more watery very lightweight such a good one i love this keeping i also have this one right here by Ilya. this is the in the shade before today I haven't used this one much i'm not gonna lie let me see yeah this is more of like a thicker formula It feels a little bit like a, like a concealer. Definitely an interesting shade. It also smells like cake. Like, you know, a birthday cake that no one has eaten in a while and it's been like a, sitting around the house for like two days. <laughs> I don't know if you ever have that, but that's what it smells like. I'm going to play around this a little bit more just to kind of feel it out. Mm. Mm, I just, you know what, I'll, I'll get rid of it. I'm probably not going to use it. I'm not crazy about how this smells. I also have this one right here by Ilya. Mm, not so much of a fan of this. Yeah, it has like a clay play-doh type of smell and not even that i really am not a fan of this color these colors just do not look good on me since i do have like more of a lighter skin tone um, it just doesn't suit my skin tone well the formula is nothing amazing i would say not really that crazy over this one so i'm going to declutter um, i also have this one right here by colourpop this is a cheek dew serum blush and they say shade so cosmo this is very like watery on the skin it's nice. It also sometimes could blend into nothing. You really, really have to build this one up. I think I'm going to keep it. I still think it looks pretty good on for maybe like a no blush blush kind of look, which I guess you could do that with any of these, but this does have pretty good staying power for being almost like a no blush thing. So keeping that. I also have these two blushes here from e.l.f., which I really like. I recently spoke about these in my 2021 favorites. So I have this one in Turks and Caicos. This is more of like the peachy toned blush and then i have so turks and caicos and then bahamas i'm just thinking which one i like more 
Um, I do like the formula. These are really, really good. You have to use a stiffer brush with these, otherwise they do not apply on the skin nicely. But it gives you like a satin, slightly matte finish, but it looks really good on. Thinking if I need both of these specific shades. I think I'm going to keep Bahamas and Declutter um, Turks and Caicos. I might check out other shades that they have in the line, just because I feel like these two are actually very, very similar. So I'm going to keep one, declutter the other, and might check out a few other shades that they have in the line. Uh, moving over to this little section here. This is the final section that I have. Let me just wipe my hands. So first I have this Revlon Insta Blush. This is not good at all. It looks very chalky on the skin. It was very pricey for a drugstore. I think it was like $10. I'm like, hello, what? So, yeah, not really a fan of it. It's decent. Um, definitely nothing to write home about. If you're going to spend already $10, I would definitely say... Maybe the ColourPop one or the Milani one is really, really good. Uh, even the e.l.f. ones are much better than these. And this is also such a light shade. It's in Candy Kiss. Maybe if you have a super fair skin tone, this could work out. But it doesn't also last the longest. It doesn't look anything too, oh my gosh, on the skin. Uh, not really feeling it. Declutter. I also have this blush here by uh, ColourPop. I thought this was decent. I actually haven't used it in a pretty long time. So I think I'm going to declutter it. It's not one that I gravitate towards. And I feel like since then, more blushes came out, more cream blushes came out that are better than this. Um, again, because I think this is just decent. Um, so I think I'm going to declutter that. This is specifically in the shade Sweet Innocence. I also have these three cream blushes here by Ofra Cosmetics. I do have a code with them. It's just Leora for 20% off. Um, so I think I'm going to keep these two, but I'm going to declutter this. This one right here is just really light. It's in the shade Authentic. I guess it's a good mixing shade if you have blushes that are way too deep. So maybe, but I also have this color right over here, which is in Loyal. And I feel like they're very, like they're pretty similar in a sense. So I'm going to keep Loyal and I'm also going to keep this one, which is in the shade Truly. It's a really pretty like deeper nude it's so nice so declutter keep two declutter one next i have one of the cheek heat blushes here from maybelline absolutely sucks does nothing for the skin it blends out to absolutely zero it's in the shade 15 um i don't like this declutter i also have a bunch of these little ones here from rare beauty which i really like i feel like they're very very pigmented so a little bit goes the longest way ever do i need all these i think i'm gonna declutter this one which is in the shade love don't really use such deep, deep color, so I'm going to declutter that little one. Um, I think I might declutter this little one as well, even though it's so cute. Let me just swatch it to see if I'm making the right decision here. One second. Yeah. It's actually very nice, but I think I have other shades like this already, so I'm going to declutter that. And I'm going to keep this one in joy. It's like a terracotta, I think perfect for fall. So declutter two, keep one. And then finally, I have these two uh, Rare Beauty blushes as well. These are full sizes. These are, oh, oh my gosh, pigmented. Like, especially these kind of shades, you could just imagine. So this is in the shade Grace. I love the packaging of Rare Beauty. This is a really pretty like orchid type of color. I think I'm gonna keep that. I don't have a lot of shades like that one. This, I'll be honest, I'm scared of. It's in the shade Grateful. This goes wrong really, really, really fast. I did try to use this a few, few times, but I would say more than not, it did go wrong. So, cause it's really, really red and it's very pigmented. It's almost like a red, like lipstick, you know? So as gorgeous as this shade is, it just doesn't work out. And it's, I have to put more work into this one than I would like. So I'm going to declutter this, but I'm going to keep this one. Okay, so like I mentioned, I started off with 34. Now let's see how much I actually am keeping. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I think I did pretty good. I didn't think I did initially, but now that I'm counting, I'm like, not bad. How cute is this box? Kaleidos actually sent it over. So here are the blushes that I'm gonna declutter. I also have this drawer here, so I'm gonna count. One, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19, 20. I ended up getting rid of 20 and I'm keeping 19, which is usually my goal. I like to get rid of at least half, maybe more. I really did get rid of the cream blushes that were just sitting there that I found 
that I really wasn't using. Um, so I'm kind of happy with, you know, what I decluttered, what I kept, now I have, even though I still have, what, like 19, which is still a decent amount, I still think it's easier on the eyes compared to the 39 that I had before. So I think I did pretty amazing. Let me know how you guys think I did. Okay, and then here you guys can see how everything is situated in the drawer. I'm probably gonna like reorganize everything, maybe put drugstore on one side and then high end on the other side or minis on one side and, you know, full size on the other side, but much happier with how the drawer is looking for sure. Definitely let me know how you guys think I did. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, my Poshmark will be linked down below and I will see you guys in my next video.